bed A couple of hymns and confession The songs are recognized on sick obsessions Sing it while I'm on the other How you doing, Ty? Long time. Good to see you. People and places and things. I have a lot of fears that I work through on a daily basis. Like women my age involved in pyramid schemes. There's that trite phrase, do one thing a day that scares you. It's like what fashion bloggers in Illinois use as all of their blog post thesis statements. Do one thing a day that scares you, which is why I bravely paired these culottes with this peplum top. <laughs> and get this, Lisa, my daughter Chrysanthemum's polo coach, has the exact same top, and she gets paid minimum wage. Hey, guy, can I get a beer? Hello, are you a bartender? The fact that you're behind a bar indicates that you're a bartender. What kind? I'll take the IPA. Who are you? Where's Jess? She's on maternity leave. Shit, Jess was pregnant? I thought she was just getting fat. Four dollars. I'm not paying for this. Man, I don't have time for this shit. Four dollars, man. I remember being the new guy. Ty, you know this guy? You're Chad Hallett. Britt's looking for you. Yeah, I'm sure she is. Hey, oh, man. shit, there he is. <laughs> the ghost of comedy. <laughs> What's up, man? I haven't seen you since. Yeah, man. you know, I had to work up some new material, take care of some things. What have you been up to? Man, did you hear Jess had a baby? Yeah, I'm the father. Yeah, man. you wish. Man, I can't even tell you how many times I no, tried to hook no, up really. with her. I'm the way she father. bends over to load up that dishwasher, that ass. Man, that ass belongs to the mother of my kid, dude. Are you fucking with me? Wow. I have been gone a long time. Well, what's his name? Or her name? Her. Sophie Lou. Wow. Lou. Yeah, you know. Sophie Lou. Just start naming the rapper. Yeah, yeah. Congrats. Listen, you know, I wanted to. We, we wanted to tell you, man. You, know, you went off the grid. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that's that's great, man. Where the fuck have you been? Right here. Not you, him. You're late. I had car trouble. I think it was the clutch rod or the plug nuts. Did you check the muff joints? <laughs> it was your choice to come back. Do you even want to be here? Oh, that's sweet. I missed you too. You disappear for five months and then show up late tonight. Sorry I'm not kissing your ass. What's the problem? I've got like 30 before I go on. It's fine. You have 10. You're on next. I'm on after Bruce. This is Bruce's show. He's headlining. Bruce? No, I'm the headliner. You were the headliner. But I'm funnier than him. But Bruce is bringing in huge crowds with his Snapchat posts. I thought Snapchat was for dick pics. It's for that too. The audience came to see Bruce. Okay, next time. Oh, this is awkward. I'm Snapchatting this shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you're on in 10. 
Look, this is business. You've just, you've been gone ever since. You've just been gone. Nobody blames you for taking time off. I'm gonna get a real drink. <laughs> Chad? Chad! <laughs> Did you come here to yell at me for not showing up at the show last night? <laughs> Fuck, are you this mad? I got the slot covered, didn't I? You wouldn't pick up your phone! Jesus, Brett, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you open the door? I'm shitting. No, you're not. You refuse to shit on public toilets. I forgot you know everything about me. I used to. You've got to stop blaming yourself. Did you see that earthquake? <laughs> Gosh, that country has some Tourette syndrome. <laughs> Or many people will remark that the weather is bipolar when the state of the atmosphere changes, which weather is want to do. Marcus, you claim that it's totally bipolar outside. Oh, really? It is marked by episodes of mood swings ranging from depressive lows to manic highs. <laughs> nah, nah, boo boo, that is rain. The weather person predicted this would happen seven days ago. Widen your worldview. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> Loaded from the looks of it. Jesus, look at all the booze in this room. I have to be a little bit careful with that sort of thing. I have a bit of an unhealthy relationship with alcohol. I, uh, I have an ex-girlfriend who told me that I turned into a different person when I drank, and it's true. The problem is that the person I turned into is supposed to be my designated driver. No, that, that girlfriend of me broke up. She was cheating on me with my designated driver. <laughs> God, she was right. I really do turn into an asshole. So I don't understand kids these days. You know, people sexting now. It wasn't like that when I was growing up. I tried to take a picture of my dick with a phone once and I had to go see a psychiatrist. <laughs> it was a rotary phone. I'd have had better luck dialing the fucker. Back when I was a kid, if you wanted to show somebody your penis, you had to buy yourself a trench coat and go downtown. <laughs> or get someone to love you. <laughs> when did we decide that restaurants had become so complicated that we needed instructions on how to order? You ever go into a place, you sit down and they say, have you been here before? <laughs> and then they proceed to tell you how to eat <laughs> in a restaurant. Whenever I sit down and they ask me, have you been here before? I always say no, but I have been to college, so I think I can figure out a menu with different kinds of fish on it, but I would like someone to cut up my food into tiny pieces for me so I don't choke. <laughs> Thank you very much, folks. I'm Chad Allen Nielsen. Enjoy the rest of the show. All right, folks. And next up is your headliner, Bruce Bradley! I have a really, really hard time remembering names and shit. <laughs> so, a friend of mine uh, recommended that I use a memory technique called uh, uh, ridiculous association. And if anybody's familiar with that, it's pretty much when you take two ideas that don't match and you smash those shits together. So the first time uh, I used it, uh, I was at a, well, a buddy of mine's uh, rap music video shoot. I got a lot of rapper friends, and I was in Atlanta. Um, and it was beautiful woman after beautiful woman coming up to me, introducing their, their sales to me. I'm getting introduced to all these women. And I'm like, I'm not remembering any of these people's names. And when, by the time I remember, like, oh, shit, I can use the memory technique, this, uh, this young lady was standing in front of me. She's introducing herself. She's like, hi, my name is Allie. I'm like, fuck, okay, Allie, Allie. It's a fucking terrible name. There's got to be top 50 <laughs> worst names to, to remember. It's, no offense to anybody you know, in the audience whose name's Allie. Your name's fucking trash. Sorry. 
But so I'm, I'm standing there, I'm like, okay, I'm trying to burn her facial features into my brain. And she, I'm like, she doesn't look like Kirstie Alley. How am I gonna remember her name? So I'm kind of like starting to slowly realize that she's the least attractive person here. And so, you know, I said, uh, she looked like she's like some, some ragtag tag along, like she snuck into a side door or something like, and we're outside, so like, how did she get here? So I decided, I got it. I know how I'm gonna remember her. This bitch looked like somebody that you might find in the alley. Harsh, maybe, but I guarantee if I ever see her again, I'll make her feel like a million bucks. Allie! How did you remember my name? Oh, Allie. How could I forget? It's Lou. Uh, there was an accident. What? When? Is he okay? Last night after the show, he was on his way home. The show? Britt? Is he okay? I'm sorry. Tell me, tell me he's okay. <laughs> covered for me. Well, you'd be glad that you're back. <laughs>